Hi dear students, welcome back to Sharon Zoology. Let's start this session with Mendel's Laws of Inheritance. Mendel's Laws of Inheritance means all the contribution of Gregor Johann Mendel. Gregor Johann Mendel. All the contributions of Gregor Johann Mendel in the field of genetics called as Mendel's Laws of Inheritance. It is Mendelism. Because the first scientific study leading to the formation of these laws proposed by Gregor Johann Mendel. And this Gregor Johann Mendel is considered as the father of genetics. Father of genetics. Or the father of modern genetics, Gregor Johann Mendel. And all his contribution in the field of genetics called as the Mendelism or the Mendel's laws of inheritance. Okay. Then, and Mendel conducted his experiments on the garden bee plan. He conducted his experiments on garden bee plan. Or the Paisam Satevam. Paisam Satevam or garden bee plan. The experimental material of Gregor Johann Mendel. And this Paisam Satyam, why Mendel select this garden bee plant or this Paisam Satyam as its experimental material? So there are some reasons. There are some reasons for selecting garden bee plant as his experimental material. Let's see what are the reasons for selecting garden bee plant as his experimental material. The reasons are very easy to cultivate. These plants were very easy to cultivate. This is one of the reasons for selecting this garden pea plant as his experimental material. So easy to cultivate. Then short duration plan. Short duration plan. This plant is a short duration plant. It's an advantage means. A large number of generation can be raised within a limited period of time. Because his study was inheritance and variation. In order to study the variation and inheritance in several generations, you have to study several generations of an organism. So this Pisum Satem is a short duration plan. Therefore, a large number of generation can be raised within a limited period of time. That is another advantage or another reason for selecting this garden bee plant has its experimental material. It's a short duration plant. Another one. This plant show big flowers. These plants have big flowers. See, actually Mendel conducted hybridization experiment. That hybridization experiment required artificial pollination. See, these flowers are big size, big sized flowers. So they have exposed the stigma, their female reproductive gynecium or stigma is very exposed. As a result, their artificial pollination can be done easily because the flowers are big size. So artificial pollination can be done easily in this plant. This is another reason the flowers are big flowers. Then bisexual. Bisexual flowers are bisexual, so self pollination possible. So, this bisexual condition is access to self pollination. They are bisexual, so self pollination was possible in this plant. Then, this plant show many different contrasting characters. This plant show many contrasting characters. This plant show, this Paisam Satevam show many contrasting characters shown by this garden pea plant or Paisam Satevam. So several characters can be studied within this same plant. This plant show many distinct contrasting characters. These are the reason for selecting garden pea plant as his experimental material. Okay. Actually Mendel noticed about 32 contrasting characters in garden pea plant. And he studied about seven contrasting characters. Let's see what are the contrasting characters of this garden pea plant or this Paisam Satevam. Okay. 
Let's see the contrasting characters are first one stem length. Stem length of the plant. Stem length is these plants are either tall or dwarf plant. So stem length is a character. Have two traits, tall and dwarf. So stem length. Then flower color. He studied flower color. And this plant have violet colored flower and white colored flower. Violet and white flowered by some succulent plant. Then next is flower position. Flower position. Since some plants, suppose this is the plant. Here, in some plants, flowers are axial in position. Flowers in at the axis of the stem. So flowers are axial in position. Axial flowers. At the same time, in some plants, flowers are terminal in position. Flowers are terminal in position. So some plants have terminal flowers. So axial flower and terminal flower. Flower position axial or terminal. Next is pod color. What is pod? Pod means seed coat. Seed coat is called pod. Suppose this is seed. Its coat is called as pod. Seed coat is called as pod. The pod color is green or yellow. Green or yellow. Green colored pod, yellow colored pod. Then pod shape. Another contrasting character is pod shape. In some plants, these pods are flattened, inflated. And in while others, the pods are constricted. So pod shape is either inflated or constricted. Inflated or constricted. Inflated or constricted shape in pod. Next is seed color. Seed color. Seed color is either yellow or green. Yellow colored is in green colored seed also. Then seed shape. Difference in their seed shape are round seed and wrinkled seed. In some pea plant seeds are round. While others reeds, seeds are wrinkled shape. So difference in seed shape too. So these are the seven contrasting characters studied by Gregor Johann Mendel in this garden pea plant. So these are the contrasting characters studied by Gregor Johann Mendel. The stem length, flower color, flower position, pot color, pot shape, seed color, seed shape. These are the seven contrasting characters studied by Gregor Johann Mendel in this garden pea plant of the Paisam Sativa. Okay. Then Gregor Johann Mendel actually conducted the hybridization experiment. He conducted the hybridization experiment on this garden pea plant. And he conducted hybridization experiment about seven years. So he conducted the hybridization experiment on this garden pea plant for a period of seven years. He conducted the hybridization experiment 
on garden bee plan he conducted the hybridization experiment on garden bee plan for a period of 7 years that is 1856 sorry 1856 to 1863 so he conducted the hybridization experiment on garden bee plan for a period of 7 years okay so he conducted the hybridization experiment let's see what are the different stages or step in hybridization experiment on garden bee plant the hybridization experiment then steps involved in hybridization steps involved in hybridization so Mendel conducted hybridization experiment and different stages or steps in hybridization experiments in clothes first one Emasculation. First step is emasculation. So he selected two plants. Suppose a tall plant and a dwarf plant selected. A tall plant and a dwarf plant selected for his hybridization experiment. And he selected this tall plant as female plant. He selected suppose this tall plant as a female plant. Suppose here this is the flower. This one is flower. This flower have both gynecium as well as andricium. Flower possesses both gynecium as well as andricium. Because it is a bisexual plant. It is a bisexual plant. So both sexes are there. And here the first step in hybridization is emasculation means removal of this anther or stamen from this bisexual flower. Removal of anther or stamen that is emasculation. Removal of anther or stamen from this bisexual plant. Now this plant become a female plant because of the anther or the stamen the male sex organ is removed. That is emasculation is the first step. Removal of anther or stamen. Okay. And our target is to pollinate this selected plant with this selected dwarf plant. Our target is to pollinate this plant with the pollen grain from this dwarf plant collected and pollinated here. That is our target. But by this emasculation, what happened? The anthers are removed, but there is a chance of contamination or the pollination by unwanted plants. So in order to prevent the contamination or the unwanted pollination, this selected plant or this emasculated flower is covered with a polythene bag. This is the second step. This emasculated flower is covered with a polythene bag is the second step. This is to prevent the unnecessary or the unwanted pollination from the undesirable plant. Our target is to pollinate this plant with the selected dog plant. So in order to avoid the undesirable pollination, the selected plant is covered with a polythene bag. This is the second step. The second step is called as bagging. This is bagging. So second step is bagging. So bagging is to cover this emasculated flower with a polythene bag. That's all. Next step is dusting. After this bagging, see, we collect the pollen grain from this selected dwarf plant. Pollen grains are collected by using a brush. Remove this covering and it deposited to the stigma. It is dusted to the stigma of this plant. That is artificial pollination. This is called dust. Dusting means the pollen grains are collected by using a brush and dusted to the stigma of this selected female plant. It is dusting and after dusting again it is covered with the polythene bag. So this is the third step. This third step is called as dusting. Then fourth one is tagging. Fourth step is tagging. Tagging is nothing but labeling. Labeling of this plant. Label this plant with a suitable title. So label the plant. 
The fifth step is seed collection. Seed collected from this plant and seed germination. Okay. So these are the different steps in hybridization. And Michael conduct this hybridization experiments on this garden pea plant at about seven years of experiment from 1856 to 1863. Okay. So this is the experimental method. And this was the experiment conducted by Gregor Jahan Mandel, Gregor John Mandel in garden pea plant. Okay. So in this session, we just studied the experimental material of Grigor Johann Mandel, that is the garden pea plant. Okay, so thank you for watching me. Bye. See you.